Barbara Humpton is the Siemens USA CEO. She joins me live in front of the White House where she'll attend today's signing ceremony. Barbara, welcome. It's great to have you on today. And this bill is broad, and that's what you wanted, right? It's not just literally for bridges. It is. Kelly, it's great to be with you, and it's so fantastic to be here for the signing today. We have long been supporting the concept of this infrastructure bill, and we congratulate the administration and the bipartisan effort in Congress that led to this moment. This is truly a glorious day for the American people. Explain Siemens' exposure to EV charging. Yes, uh, Siemens, yeah, first of all, let me just say, we were built for this moment. Uh, Siemens has been here in the United States for 160 years, really focused on the infrastructure that has been the backbone of the economy here. Everything from the work of industry to infrastructure of all kinds, buildings, transportation, etc. When it was clear that we would see the electrification of vehicles, uh, we quickly turned our know-how in electrification to the problem and have brought the capability to manufacture EV charging stations here to the U.S. And recently we made the commitment to, to manufacture another million charging stations here over the next four years. So this is an exciting moment. Oh, interesting. So you guys are literally manufacturing the charging stations, which is an important piece of the EV rollout, obviously, we should all be thinking about. So tell us how this would change from a leader point of view, are you hiring immediately with these funds? When do you expect these funds to hit your bottom line? Well, we actually think this is going to take a whole ecosystem. The most exciting thing about all of this is that this is going to bring in the state and local, the utility, business and businesses who need to make decisions about this transformation. So yes, we're going to be working, bringing our technology to stakeholders in every single one of those areas. And to get ready for that, we've actually begun workforce development. At our location in Wendell, North Carolina, we've teamed with Wake, Tech Wake Technical Community College to create an apprenticeship program. I mean, we're at that point where reaching into high schools, getting kids interested in the kind of work they could be doing as we drive this transformation, it means that we can tailor programs to their academic backgrounds and their schedules and bring them into the workplace, provide them the skills they need to be able to contribute in this building field of manufacturing. Although I suspect you probably had that in place before today. <laughs> and maybe this kind of builds on that. When I hear stakeholders, I get nervous that that process is going to take a while to play out. So maybe you can give an example of how, you know, these funds will really hit the road, so to speak. Yeah, that's right. I mean, there is already, as you've noted with your other guests, there is quite a bit of capital already being deployed. So we have already, for instance, deployed 75,000 charging stations across the United States with various customers. What we're most bullish about is the idea of utilities being key players in this transformation. So yes, we know that there, it will take time for the funds to make their way in, you know, in allocations out into the states for states to work through their process to assure this goes to the appropriate stakeholders. We're going to be working side by side with those stakeholders to expedite all of it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.